Good morning, good morning. Happy Wednesday, happy Wednesday. It's time for What's She Making Wednesday, our weekly card class tutorial. And today I'm gonna to be using our two stamp sets actually, and they are standalone stamp sets. So one is Caring Leaves. There's no dies to these, so it's just a standalone stamp set. I love this because it's a two-step stamp and it's also a distinctive stamp. So what that means is it's two steps, so it's the outline and then it's the inside of the image. And then distinctive in this inside of this image shows all the different shading of uh, these leaves. So what's fun about that is instead of having to color and shade, the stamp is gonna do it for you creating that image. So I love that. We're gonna also be using the sketched plaid background stamp, which is super fun. And then we're gonna create this card today. So you're simply the best. You could use it really for all occasions. You could put happy birthday inside. You could put um, thinking of you. You could just write a hello note, all kinds of things. We're gonna be using some fun um, ribbon and all kinds, and I'm gonna share a new technique with you, all kinds of fun for today's card. So, like always, if you want the measurements or the supply list or the step-by-step -step instructions, you can find them in two places. If you're subscribed to my weekly Buzz Bulletin, it's a free email I send out with a free printable PDF tutorial every single week with our weekly card tutorial. You can get that in the description below, or if you go to stampinqueenbee.com, that's my blog, and you can find all my past, um, all my past tutorials in there. You can print them; they're all totally free, um, all in PDF, and they have the supply list, the measurements, and the step-by-step -step instructions. So, let's get started with today's card. So the first thing I'm gonna do is we are using very vanilla, very vanilla everything. I love very vanilla. I think it's so great for fall. It's so great for anything that you want kind of softer. So I use very vanilla for almost all my sympathy cards, my fall cards. It's great for Christmas. We have a lot of designer series paper right now that has very vanilla in it and some ribbon that has very vanilla in it. So I love it. So we're gonna start with some stamping. So the ink colors we're gonna to use today is Wild Wheat and Copper Clay. So let's stamp. We'll start with some Wild Wheat. We're gonna be using the bigger of the leaf images. So we'll start with the outside. Let me make sure my camera here for you. And so we're just gonna go ahead and stamp a bunch of these leaves and this is what I like to do I really like to just take a full sheet and stamp a whole bunch of these and then that way they're ready to go so I am using five of them on today's card but now I'll have a whole bunch that I can use for future cards right Okay, so we've got that. Now we've got copper clay. So I started with my lighter colored ink and then I'm just gonna take this directly into copper clay because it's darker. And we're gonna do our copper clay outlines of these. And let's see, I bet we can get more here at the top. So I love to just do a full sheet of any time I'm stamping with a new set, even if I'm not gonna use them all, it lets me really get a feel for how the stamp works, but it also gives me extras. So then I just will keep them inside my stamp case. So you can see like ones I did prior, I already just have them ready to go. So if I want to create another card, I have extras there 
in my stamp case for my next project, right? Okay, so now we're gonna take the inside piece of that same leaf and we are going to bring in a scratch paper here. So I've got my wild wheat and we are just gonna do a few variations of this. So we're just gonna line it up and I like this one because it's not exact, so it goes a little bit out. So then I'm gonna take some of them and I'm gonna stamp them full strength. Some of them I'm gonna stamp off and give them a lighter, right? See the difference? So you want some variations. And then some of them I'm gonna do the same thing but into copper clay. So I'm gonna mix the two. So that way we kind of have four different variations, right? We have the dark and the light with our copper clay and we have the dark and the light, well the full strength and the stamped off in the wild wheat. So we'll just continue this. And I won't do probably the whole sheet of these. You'll get the idea, right? Do a couple more here. And then we would just finish those off, right? Okay, now we're gonna switch inks back to our copper clay, and we're gonna do the same thing. So we're gonna do, let's see, some full strength here. Then you could stamp it directly off. We can do some stamped off here. And see how pretty that is to create, with just two colors, you're creating all these different leaf combinations, right? In nature, they're all different. No two leaves are the same, right? So, really fun to create all those different combinations there. Okay, so then, our stamping of our leaves is done, and what we will do is we will fussy cut these out. So I will do one for us here, but then Magic of TV, I already cut a whole bunch out for us. <laughs> but I like these because they're real simple to cut out. There's not a lot of big, you know, in and out spots of these leaves. They're real easy. They're real easy fussy cutting. And you're just moving the paper as, as you go. And usually what I do is cut it off so that it's a smaller piece to work with. Finish that, and there we have, right? So Magic of TV, those are cut for us. Okay, the next thing I'm gonna use is our new Labeled with Love punch, and I have already pre-punched a very vanilla one. So we're gonna use that with our sentiment, you're simply the best, and this, we are going to use our copper clay. You could use copper clay, you could use black. I actually used black on our first one. But this one, I'm gonna use some copper clay. And that looks good. So we'll let that dry, put that aside. I've got a scrap of black here, so I'm gonna go ahead and punch one more of these labeled with love out of black cardstock, and we're going to put this together. So let me bring in my scratch paper again. With this one, we're gonna take a little bit of wild wheat marker, and we're just gonna flick, you know I love my speckles, so we're just gonna flick with the lid of the marker. We're just gonna flick, 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 and get those little speckles on there. We can also do that with black, so we could get a few, a 
few bits of black on there as well, just to kind of tie it all together, right? Okay, so we got all that. Now we want to mount this, but you can see they're the same size, right? So a little trick, so this is your trick for today. If you punch the same shape, we can cut it, and we can either do it two ways. We can do it uh, vertical or horizontal, and you're just gonna literally cut it in half. And then what you wanna do is we're gonna take a little bit of stamp and seal, and I just like to put it right on the ends. This is what I have just found to be the easiest, is to just put a little bit of that adhesive on the ends. Then we're gonna take our two pieces, and so the first one, we're just gonna line up the top and the bottom so that they match, but we've got now a little bit of border. And we can do the same thing with this size, this side. And so we've just kind of elongated that die to give ourselves a little bit border. And you can do the same thing the opposite way. So let's actually do that. So here's another black. And here is another one of our sentiment strips. So let me just ink this up. We'll stamp another one real quick. This one, let's just do the black on this one. Give it a little bit. Little bit of speckle there. And then this one, let's do the other way. So we'll just take our snips and snip it down so we've got our top and our bottom. And then this one, we'll just put our seal adhesive on the other side. There we go. Pick this up and the same thing. So now we're just gonna line it up left to right to create that little border. And then the same thing on the bottom. So now we've just elongated our dies to create that border. So it's the same thing, we just cut them in half both sides and you can do that either way. So that's a little extra tip for today. Hey Cheryl, good morning. Okay, so we use one of those on our card when we finish it here. Now we're going to stamp We'll put all this to the side, done with our snips. Now we're gonna stamp our border piece. So we've got another piece of Very Vanilla. We're gonna grab our background stamp, and so I purposely didn't mount this one because I want you to see how I do this. So we're gonna grab our biggest block, got our biggest block, the F block, and we're going to put that right on to our acrylic block. So we've got our whole big background stamp here. I've got my copper clay ink, and so these big stamps are really hard to ink up. They're heavy, right? And so to ink them up regular, like dipping them into the stamp pad, it's difficult for me, so I like to ink them upside down. So we're just gonna go ahead and ink this up while it's on its back here. And we're just gonna go over the whole thing a few times, just making sure that we evenly got the ink all over that. Okay, looks good. And then we're gonna take and you can put the paper to the stamp or the stamp to the paper. This one, I like to put the stamp to the paper. Sometimes I do the opposite way. And we're just gonna put this over the whole thing and stamp down. And I kind of hold it, you can press in all the areas. And then usually it will pick up your paper and so you want to just carefully Peel this back, and there you have our fun background, right? So I leave my scratch paper underneath, 
because you can see the stamp is a little bit bigger than the paper that I cut. So that is how we do that background image. And now we really get to put um, most of this together. So we've got a piece of basic black. One of the tips that um, I get often asked with new card makers is how do I make my cards look extra well? And so one of the easiest ways to do that is adding layers. So the more you layer your cards up and mat them, I think the more wow they look. Gives them some dimension, it really makes them pop, right? Like even just this background, it makes it pop all that much more with that bit of black right behind it, right? We've got our very vanilla base, so we'll just go ahead and fold, fold this in half, grab our bone folder, so we can burnish that edge. Make sure our card lays flat. And actually, let me bring this back in and let's stamp a leaf inside. I didn't do that on my original one, but we can surely do it on this one, right? And we'll give it a copper clay inside. There we go. Just gives it a little something inside. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and, before we mount this on, we're going to add some ribbon. So we've got two ribbon that we're gonna use today. This one is our black and very vanilla. So see, it matches. It's not black and white, it's black and very vanilla. And so we're gonna take this piece before we mount it down and we've also got this copper clay linen thread, one of my new favorites. So it comes in a three pack. It comes with copper clay, night of navy, and garden green, all three, and they are truly a linen thread. So they are that kind of thicker, um, it's got a little more sturdiness to it than maybe a twine. And I love that it comes in these three neutrals because we can use these all year long, right? I can see Christmas with these. I can see fall. I can see all kinds of things. So love that. I do always write my colors in Sharpie on, on all of my things. Someone asked me about that the other day. And yes, I do. One, so that I don't have to look up the colors because sometimes you don't know. And then two, um, so I can read them. <laughs> Sometimes if they are listed, they're super teeny tiny, right? So I'm gonna take both of these at the same time. So you can see I'm just kind of lining them up together. And we're gonna wrap this around our cards. Let me just get my, my hands in the right spot here, but we're just gonna wrap this around the card there we go. And we're just going to tie this in a knot. So you could do a bow if you like. You could do whatever you want on your cards, right? I'm just going to tie a knot on this. I think with the fall cards, right, a knot kind of makes it look rustic. Where's my other piece here? Hang on. Lost my other piece. Okay, so we've got that. We've got this one around. Got this one. Okay. Maybe I need to do it in the air. That's probably it. <laughs> okay, so now we've got those. And now we've got both pieces. There we go. Okay, so we're just going to make sure this doesn't slip off. Pull it tight and pull it around and tie it in a knot. There we go. Okay, so now we're just gonna take our ribbon scissors and with these two together, because I want them to be the same length, right? We're just going to trim those off for now and we will trim it up, up once it's all attached. So then I'm just gonna move this to where I want it, which is just kind of 
towards the left here, but you can see we've got both of those ribbons together. Now we're going to adhere this down. So we're just gonna add our liquid glue to both of those sides. You could put a little bit here too if you like, but it'll hold it in place. And we'll take our base here, we'll center that on our base. That's why I love my liquid glue because you can move it around. I was watching a video, because so I watch videos too, and I was laughing because they were like, I never use liquid glue. <laughs> and I was like, oh, I couldn't live without my liquid glue, right? Okay, now that this is fully attached, we can take our ribbon scissors and trim this down just a bit. I do kind of like the look of it um, sticking over the card. You can easily just tuck that in the envelope, but that gives us the little up and down cuteness, right? Okay, so now we've got our leaves that I already pre-cut for us. So here's all our different fun variations and we've got our tags that we made. So I'll save that one for later. We'll use this one now. And so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my seal again, and on the bottom here, I'm just gonna put a tiny bit of that. We're gonna take one of our leaves. I think we'll do a wild wheat one. And we're just gonna kinda line this up so that it's sticking out now it's stuck to that from the bottom of our sentiment. And we'll set that aside. And then we're gonna take our leaves here and we're gonna decide which way we want them to go. So I did four of them on my last one. And I kinda liked them to be opposite. So maybe we'll do something like that. So you need four for your side. So for these, we're just gonna flip them over. We're gonna bring in our Stampin' Dimensionals. And I just put my dimensionals, I put two of them on each one, and I just put them in the middle because I kinda wanna nest them together. And so just putting them in the middle here, it allows us a little bit of room to do that nesting. Okay, so we'll just start at the top. We'll peel off our backings here. And we're just gonna start on the top and we're just gonna kind of decide where we want these as we go. So you can see we can kind of tuck them under since we left that room. And you can kind of angle them a bit. And if you put them real close in to each other, then you um, can fit more down the side if you like. You can fit less. I just kind of liked them um, just slightly tucked under. And then if you notice, I kind of switched the colors, right? So the same color combinations that we stamped, I kind of put, um, you know, I varied it when I put these down. And you could even do the stems over, like if we wanted this one to be kind of like that, you could do that as well. Then we're gonna take our sentiment. Now for this, I put my dimensionals only on the left and the right because it's going to go over our ribbon here. So you wanna leave a little bit of space in the middle there so that it's not raised up over your ribbon. Okay, so we've got that, and then we'll just figure out where do we want to put this. So I think we'll go right kind of in the center, and we'll press that down. And if, like I just got that a little bit off, there we go. Sometimes I have to hold it up so I can see. There we go, that way it's level. So then that's everything attached. Easy peasy, right? So now we need some bling, you know, Tracy can't finish a card without adding some bling. So the perfect bling for this is our in color, our 2325 in color opaque 
sparkle dots. I love these. So these come in all of our in colors, the copper clay, the wild wheat, the moody mauve, the boho blue, and the pebbled path. So I love these. We're gonna use the copper clay today. And so we'll just grab these and we're gonna put them on our sentiment. So we'll put two over here and we'll put one right over here. You could add them around as well if you wanted to add even more and you can absolutely do the wild wheat even because it would go, right? Gotta have some bling. So there we have our You're Simply the Best card for today's card class. So check out my blog or your Buzz Bulletin weekly email for all of the tips and tricks, the measurements, the step-by-step -step instructions. And I will be back again tomorrow with another fun video in our um, tutorial Thursday where we are taking different templates and different sketches and having those as patterns for our inspiration in our card room. So stay tuned for tomorrow's video and I will see you guys soon.